Well, as if we don't have enough to be worried about now, there are scary headlines about another strain of influenza found in pigs in China. Some workers on pig farms have become infected with it, but not become sick. And there's no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. So right now, there's not much to back up those scary headlines, as Redmond Shannon explains. The H1N1 flu pandemic in 2009 likely killed tens of thousands of people worldwide. It was nowhere near as deadly as COVID-19, partly because older people tended to be immune to it. But this newer strain of so-called swine flu is something experts are taking note of, precisely because it is new. It's not so-called an immediate threat where you're seeing infections, but it's something we need to keep our eye out on just the way we did in 2009. The Chinese researchers took samples from 30,000 pigs over seven years. They found a new G4 strain of H1N1 emerge in 2013. It can be passed from pigs to humans, but probably not between humans. About 10% of slaughterhouse workers had antibodies indicating they were exposed. Two people tested positive, one of whom died. This is something that we need to, to be aware of. We need to be looking for them, but people shouldn't be freaking out. People shouldn't be worried about pigs. Professor Scott Wees says experts will be tracking how the strain evolves. So right now, if you've got something that doesn't spread well person to person, it's, it doesn't have as big a population relevance. But if this virus can change by itself or get together with another virus, then we've got more concerns. If the virus does start spreading between humans, developing a vaccine should be relatively easy, down to decades of worldwide experience in tackling the flu. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.